Nonchankla, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, Nonchankla, are you watching your TV? Yes, I'm watching the TV. Okay, you described the parabola to me. Have I got it down correctly according to what you've got in front of you? Okay, they haven't shown it to the screen. No, the, yes, yes, yes. Is that right? Correct. Okay, yes, because you right. described to me that you had a parabola and the turning point of the parabola was at the point 1, 4. Has that got yes. a letter to represent it? Yes, What P. P. Yes. Okay, so there's P. And then you said that the Y cut of the parabola was at the point naught 3, is that right? Yes. Okay, and then you said that the X cuts were at R and at S. Yes. Okay, right. Now, Nochlantla, what I understood you to say is that they told you that the equation of this parabola was y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Is that correct? Yes. And the first question, what did they ask you to, to find? The values of a, b, c. All right, so they want the values of a, b, and c. Now, Nontlantla, yes. that's just another way of saying find the equation of this graph or of this parabola. Okay, because once you know A and you know B and you know C, then do you agree that you actually know what the equation of your parabola is going to be? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, Nonclantla, what um, formulas do you know for finding the equation of a parabola? There are two of them. Which one do you know? I know Y is equal to AX minus P all squared plus Q. All right. Now, under what circumstance do you use that particular formula? If they are given a point and a turning point. Good, okay. So, do you agree that in this particular instance, we're given a point and a turning point, so this is going to be our guy. This is the one that we're going to use. Yes. Okay. Just while we add it, what is the other one that we could use in another set of circumstances? Which one is the alternative? I think it is the one that says y is equal to x minus x y one and put it on bracket and open on a bracket and say y and, uh, I have forgotten. Okay, no, you're y doing one. great. So it's a x minus x one and x minus x two. Two. All right. Yes. And when do you use this formula? When you are given when you are given a point in the two coordinates. Two coordinates of a very of two very special points, not just any old points, okay? Oh, Which okay. special points? When you have the two x cuts, okay? Oh, okay? So if you have the two x cuts, in other words, if you know the coordinates here at R and you know the coordinates at S, then you would use this formula, okay? okay. All right, but we definitely know this is going to be the one that we're about to use. Okay. okay, so now, Nonclantla, take your formula and what are you going to substitute in from your picture in place of the P and the Q? Okay, in place of P, we're going to have, we're going to substitute X and in point of Q, we're going to substitute Y. Good. So what is your line going to read? It's going to read X minus the one which you've substituted, add... Yes the four. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Are you finished? No. No. What must you still do? You must substitute the other point that they give that cut is y. Okay. Now, uh, the point that is 0 0.3. Good. Now why do you want to substitute that point in? You want to find a. Good. Because at the moment we still don't know what this guy is here. Hey. Yes. Okay. So substituting in, it's going to read 3 is equal to A. Yeah. Now, in place of X, we've got a 0. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Now, work I that out for right. me now. Tell me what to write. We want A now. Mm-hmm. So my left-hand side stays 3. 3 is minus 4. Mm-hmm. You want to take this over. 
Okay, so we want a minus 4 that side. I'm happy. And yes. then what are you going to do with this? Minus 4 and then uh, in the bracket you're going to have 1 because 0 minus 1 I think is 0. Okay, let's just say that again. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. Yes. And if we square minus 1? It's going to be 1. Okay, so do you agree that this is actually A and this yes. is 1? Yes, A okay. is 1. Okay. So it's going to be A. So that's just going to be A. So this side is yes. going to be just A. And what is the left-hand side going to be? The? What is this going to be? Minus 4, add 3. What does that uh, simplify to? It's going to give us 1. 1 or minus 1? Minus a 4, minus add a 3. One. Minus a 1. Okay. Yes. Now, just have a look right back at the picture. Can you see that your parabola is actually what we call a sad parabola. Most of us refer to this one as an upside down or a sad parabola. Yeah, it's okay. parabola, yes. Good. And when we find the equation of a sad parabola, we know that the A value always has to be what? Negative. Negative. So that was a way of checking if you'd made that little mistake and not picked it up, our A value has to be negative. Okay. Yes. Right. So now you're almost done because now we can plug the minus 1 right the way back into there in place of A. Do you agree with me? Yes. So it's going to read minus 1. Y is equal to minus 1. Mm-hmm. And then open the bracket X minus P1 mm. squared plus 4. Plus 4. Okay. Now, you just tell me, are we able to answer the question? Remember they wanted us, Nontlantla, to find A, B, and C. A, B, C. Now, from this form that it's actually in at the moment, are we able to tell them what the values of A, B, and C are? Yes. Yes. A is minus Y. Mm -hmm. And B is minus 1 again. No, it's and not. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to stop you there. Because remember, this is the value for P. Go back to the original and look at the form that they gave it to you in. A x squared plus B x plus C. They didn't give it to you in this form, did they? They did. So what? No, they didn't. They didn't. So what must I do with this thing to get it so that it looks like Y equals some number times x squared plus some number times x plus C? What am I going to have to do? A little bit of work. Okay.